Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a dark and rainy Monday morning here in Switzerland. We were out on the roads this morning getting a little bit of a jog in, old school. Man, tough time of year, dark as hell when you wake up and it gets dark early. Uh, but the ski season, I guess, is a couple weeks away, uh, legit. So we got something to look forward to. Um, anyway, here we are, uh, Monday. Not a lot on the calendar. Some stuff to talk about from over the weekend. Um, let's start with Euro. Uh, we talked about this Thursday, Friday. Talking about the turn in Euro. This is what we've got. It has been a slow grind. Mother of God, really. Three days, 70 points. I mean, it's tough, but you know, you got to trade the vol you're given. Um, here we are, 110.62, not super far from where we closed, which was 110.55. The one pullback was down to 44, 43.3. So, I mean, not sure what to do. You just have to sit. Uh, we got no news today. We got um, a couple of speakers. We got Lane speaking. Two o'clock Swiss time. We've got Bundesbank bullshit going on. I guess we've got uh, Guindos speaking also at 10 a.m. He's an ECB member. So you get two ECB guys speaking, which could move it a little bit, but I don't really see much going on. You just have to stick with your core longs. Um, I would say this is eminently tradable, but it really, it's not that tradable when you think about it. A tradable market is a market that is kind of whipping around and you get a chance to get given and get paid and get given. We sold 55s on Friday. Uh, we left a 42 bid in did not get given so now we're sh we're long less than we'd like to be um, just one of those pain in the ass markets here's what it is uh, but long side we still like uh, we do feel like um, this is actually going to trade all the way back up to 111.80 so I know that seems a long way but in normal days 120 points is the day's range uh, but we do feel like we're going to trade back to 111.80 and, and going into December, we're going to break these highs and, and, and move north. Uh, be that what be that as it may, uh, we just sit with longs here. We'll try and pick some up in the low 40s if we get any kind of dip. Uh, otherwise, we just sit long. Dollar Swiss is not going down uh, the way we would like it to. We talked about selling between 10 and 30. Never really got up to 10. Uh, I guess 10.04 is the high, you know, Euro higher, dollar Swiss going nowhere. What does that mean? Euro Swiss is bid uh, with this sort of risk on in the stock market, at least not politically, not economically. It's not risk on, but the stock market is higher. So this is preventing dollar Swiss from going lower. The key point we're looking at is this 98.40. This uh, is a massively important point. This looks five star on the charts. Reminds me a lot of Dollar Swiss, which, as most of you know who uh, have been following this channel for a couple of years, I'm not that great at trading. Uh, but if you look at these two bars here, bang, bang, these August bars, something like this feels like is about to happen. Uh, and what the catalyst will be, I don't know. I mean, does Hong Kong just melt into like martial law? I don't know. I don't know what gets uh, the Swiss franc going, but we are watching this 98.40 level very, very closely. We consider this, uh, you know, a five-star level. So you'll see us in action um, getting short through 40 and maybe preparing to get short as we approach 40, depending on depending on the conditions and what's going on. Dollar yen similar to dollar Swiss, just not really doing a whole hell of a lot. Um, Euro yen higher, 
you know, so dollar yen is just sitting here quite neutral, down to 66 overnight. Now we're back at 82. As you can see, 0 0.7 range on the day. That's just pathetic, right? I mean, tough, tough times on the vol side. Uh, as been as 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 it has been all year, right? I mean, this uh, this hasn't changed at all. Let's look at gold again, middle of nowhere. We did get a um, little bit of a push lower down to 63, but. This is tricky now. We talked about it. If you own 53s or if you own 50s, you better leave a stop. Because if we get down through 46, there's going to be another flush. I'm not saying we are going to get down through 46, but I'm just saying be disciplined with this. Um, and those of you who are listening, you know who I'm talking to. I won't name any names. You picked up some good ones. Uh, now be disciplined with it. Uh, we'll see where we go from here. Boons stubbornly bid, uh, but really just nowhere. Uh, we're expecting this sideways action. Very, very low vol on Friday. Just a terrible, uh, you know, <coughs> terrible, um, you know, tiny range. We feel like we're at the top of the range here. Uh, we're tactically short some. 70.30, we got core short on. We just like fixed income shorts in general. Um, we've been short for a long time, as, as all of you know. So we have a little bit of freedom here. Uh, and it is in the long-term book, so you got to be patient with this. But we like Boone's lower. I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't expect much from the Boone's, uh, Boone's market today. Let's look at the uh, S&Ps. Big bullish day on Friday. We thought we thought we would get some uh, another taste at one th at 3100 because of all the expiries, but no, closed at 3120. I mean, not much to say here. If you do want to get short, if you're on the bear side of this, uh, sell high ones. Right? It's the same thing every day. You do not sell low ones. This is a bull market. You have to sell high ones. So what's a high one today? 3134, 3138, those are high ones. Sounds ridiculous for those of us who are bearish, but price is price, man. If you're a bear, you're wrong. So far, you're wrong. Uh, so eat your humble pie and trade this uh, correctly. You sell high ones tactically. You don't own it. Uh, and if you do, you're being stubborn and probably an a-hole. So get over yourself. Uh, today we'll be looking to sell high ones in the 3130s if we get up there. Uh, Aussie dollar cad kiwi not doing too much retracing, retracing back into the range. Uh, as you can see, very low conviction on anything today. We're watching this dollar Swiss level very closely. It's 60 points away, which might as well be 6,000 points away in, in, in the market these days. And we're trading euro from the long side. That's all we got um, as far as what's on the immediate horizon. The rest of it is just be patient, be patient, be patient. Vol is just crushed. And when vol is crushed, it just pays not to trade as much. This is just a truism. So please be patient out there, people. Good luck with your patience. Uh, also keep in mind, getting hassled uh, by Dublin, because I'm not saying this every day. If you like the stuff that we put out uh, on Twitter, if you like the stuff we put out on our videos every day, hit the like or thumb button or, I don't know, middle finger button, whatever that is. Leave a comment on how we can improve or if you like our stuff and subscribe to our stuff. Um, there's going to be a point where this is going to have to go private unless we get a certain number of subscribers. Ask Ireland about all this. Um, that's not my remit. But um, anyway, if you're digging it, subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Tomorrow. Ciao.